my video on how to do a time lapse with the new Leica Q2, I was uh, showing how to set up the camera, how to use the built in intervalometer for interval uh, sequences. I was uh, showing how to um, deal with the images later on. And uh, I showed, and this is here on uh, in the video on YouTube, how to actually go in the menu to play mode setup. And in play mode setup, let's have a look at this. Uh, to decide whether you want to have in a sequence of shots those images be grouped or not grouped. And when you group the images, you can later on play this as a group sequence in uh, the play section of your camera. And when you do that, you have an option to create in camera a 1080p time lapse video. The problem with that is that uh, the outcome will always be 1080p. So there is no way to actually set this up as a 4K video and use the enormous resolution of the 47 megapixels you have on the Leica Q2. And that is something uh, I wanted to try out myself, how to do then a 4K time lapse, because uh, this is basically uh, the only way where you can fully leverage the resolution you have. Actually here, you see a little icon uh, popping up on the screen in a group sequence of images. And with that uh, icon, if you press it on the display, you can create in camera the video. But as I said, output will always be 1080p. So I wanted to try out how uh, to take a 4K time lapse with the Leica Q2. And for this, I was going to two different locations using the built in intervalometer of the camera, took a sequence of shots on both locations, and then processed in Final uh, Cut Pro. And uh, I want to show how this all worked out in the course of this video. So my first location was quite busy in terms of cars and car noise. And you also see here that I mounted the Leica Q2 as I did on the second location also on a rotating device, which makes uh, the time-lapse sequence a bit more interesting if the camera is with a prescribed angle rotating within a specified time. The second location was also quite busy in terms of noise from all the cars passing by, but in front of me I had a beautiful landscape scene towards Lake Zurich. When I had both uh, image sequences in camera, I went home and then uh, I imported them into Final Cut Pro 10. And uh, you see here in a, a time-lapse basically how I process them. There is a separate video on how to create a time-lapse with Final Cut Pro. And I put the link and information down in the info box below the video. Please check it out if you want to see step-by-step step how to do a 4K time-lapse in Final Cut Pro. And now at the very end, let's look at the result and enjoy 4K time-lapse taken with the Leica Q2.